Hey, what is going on, guys? It's DK. Back at you with another video here to talk about some player props I like for the Fort 13 NBA slate. If this is your first time watching, welcome to my channel. Again, my name is DK. I make content for prize picks for DFS and for NBA Top Shot. If you are looking for uh, premium content, I do offer that on patreon.com for DFS. Uh, I have an NBA, esports, and USFL package, right, which I'm super, super excited about. Um, and the sponsor of this video, guys, is Roast Umber. If you are a coffee lover, you guys got to give it a try. Use my discount code DKDFS for 20% off your order. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. Uh, if you want my recommendation, it's the Nitro. That's my personal favorite. I drink one of those every single day, and it is amazing. But yeah, recapping uh, the picks from uh, today's video went really, really well. What, four or five, and Mobley just missed. Uh, you did have a little bit of Mobley foul trouble. He just had not the best game. Um, questionable, another story for DFS, but questionable, questionable coaching from JV Bakerstaff with some of those rotations. But yeah, Mobley just came up a couple short, but KD, Kyrie, both hit. Uh, Paul George and DeAndre Russell easily, easily hit. And the reason I like those numbers so much was, again, it was just playoffs are a different story than the regular season. You saw the minutes go up on all the stars by a good amount. And I think we can take advantage of that once again. So I'm going to get three uh, that, that stand out to me. The first one's Lamella Ball. This is my favorite of 43 fancy points absolutely love this. I don't care that he's been hovering around this number for the last five games. Doesn't mean a thing. Look at what's been going on in these games for LaMelo Ball, right? Washington, massive blowout and foul trouble. Chicago, blowout, foul trouble. Blowout here, blowout, blowout. The last five games have been blowouts. This is do or die for the Hornets. You know, we've seen in the regular season at times if LaMelo struggles a bit, you know, sometimes they bench him. I would be shocked if they do that do or die time to bench their best player. So a uh, good matchup here. I think 43 is too low. He's obviously going to have to do everything the team. I think he plays around 40 minutes here. I absolutely love the Lamella ball at over 43 fancy points. The next one is going to be DeJounte Murray over 50 fancy points. Um, now you have a good spot for him as well against the Pelicans, you know, McCollum or whoever they try to throw on him defensively. Um, the only real good defender on the team is Herbert Jones. But yeah, DeJounte Murray's going to play huge minutes, right? Um, he did uh, lose some weight. He, he had uh, that illness, but he came back, played limited minutes against Dallas um, and played relatively well. But uh, the thing with DeJounte Murray, which I love, is she just he does everything for the team, right? And again, do or die spot. I think he plays around 40 minutes here. A guy that can completely stuff the stat sheet. He can get some blocks of steals as well, which is nice. It's plus three. So I would be over there on DeJounte Murray, 50 fancy points. And the last one I'm going to mention here is Jonas Valanciunas, over 38 fancy points. Again, game log watchers could care less about what happened the last three games. You got to look into it more. That's why I don't just look at numbers. I know some people do that. That's a big, big mistake, right? So last game, six minutes. Well, he had five fouls in six minutes. Uh, he had foul trouble here in a blowout against Portland. And then this game against the Clippers was a massive blowout. Look at the last competitive game here. 38 minutes, 35 minutes here, 37. So 43, 46, 44 fancy points in those games. Sure, scoring's a little bit different on DraftKings to FanDuel, but pretty similar. Um, so with that being said, and and uh, with also the Spurs always running a traditional center, whether it be Pirtle or, or Zach Collins, I think Jonas Valanciunas plays 36 to 38 minutes in this spot. I think 38 fancy points is too low. I like going the over on that as well. So those are the three I like uh, for tomorrow. So that's going to be the over on Jonas Valanciunas, 38 fancy points. The over on DeJounte Murray, 50 fancy points. And the over on LaMelo Ball at 43 fancy points. So that's going to wrap it up for the video, guys. If you do enjoy the prize picks content, just make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff so you can uh, you know, know when I come out with future videos. Keep an eye out for USFL. I've been doing a lot of research the last couple of days, either video tonight or tomorrow. So super excited about that one. But thanks again, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night, and I'll see you in the next video.